Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to do, talk about a bit about the Skywatcher Virtuoso 150 GTI. Uh, this is the first telescope that I bought. I bought it uh, one and a half years ago. It's been great. But uh, I since then moved to an equatorial mount, but I still use this. But I wanted to say my opinion. Like if you're going to buy this telescope, you know what you're getting into. Uh, now this telescope is good, but it does have its flaws, obviously. Uh, its biggest flaw, I think, is the focuser. It's good, but like it's not convenient. Uh, the pin rack and pinion obviously is much better, but you can work with this one. Uh, it's I read, as you can see, this white stuff is plumber tape to solve the... It has no play, as you can see turns fine and it's a bit stiff which you want which is what you want especially you want imaging so the focus is not a big deal to be honest but if you know how to work around it's okay the second mod is the light shroud that I did when, when this one extended uh, covers all the the area I can't do it one-handed but you get the idea I cut a hole here for the so when it comes here you can see. What I love about the telescope is the collimation part. As you can see, this is a collimation cap. Uh, with this, you can collimate very easily because at the the primary mirror, as you can see, that one has a center spot at the middle, and you can coll collimate. I have a video about this on my. Uh, my uh, YouTube channel that uh, I did with this exact telescope, how to collimate your Newtonian. So it's it's pretty easy. And you collimate, you have the bobs knobs as well, which is awesome. This thing, you collimate it in, in 20 seconds. No, I'm not even lying. It's very smooth. It tracks decent, but as I did last time a video, if you're buying this telescope and you're going to use it for imaging, you have to buy this. Since can you be adapter? This uh, it is like 50 euros, so it's not cheap. But without this, this telescope drifts a lot. I'm not lying; it will drive you crazy. When uh, it it's, it will be tracking well, and after a while, like after. 20 minutes it will start drifting off and for no reason at all. I don't know why. When you think with this one, it never does that. I, I think it's, 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 it's the cable oper the cable um, operation is, is better for this telescope, I believe. Uh, since I bought that one, I have been using a lot more. But if you're going, to be honest, this telescope was never made for imaging. This is just for visual. But I know a lot of people are going to buy this for imaging, as, as I did. Uh, so if you are going to use it for imaging, do not buy a cheap camera. If you buy a cheap camera, the telescope has 750 millimeters focal length. It will drive you crazy. I'm not even kidding. The field of view will be so small that you will give up. The best camera is like... ASI 294 or SV405CC that I have. It has a big sensor. It's expensive, but it's the best. It, you will, you will, can, you can work with this with that with that camera. But you can kind of work with the SV705C, but uh, it's still small to be honest. The 294 sensor and upwards is, is the best choice. As you can see, it's with dovetail. You can slide this off and put a refractor like I do. Or another smaller Newtonian, maybe. Uh, the stress rods. You can put them down. It's kind of cute when you close it, because <laughs> it's this small. And it closes up. The mirror, I, I painted black, black, uh, the edges black. Although it's not perfect, as you can see. I have to reti retouch them up. Uh, it's very easy to call it, like I said, and I, I cleaned it like two times, I think, already, the, the, the mirrors. Cause they get, or three times, I think, because they get quite dirty, the mirrors, since it's an open telescope, a lot of dust comes in here. And uh, 
you use it with SynScan Pro app, this one. I have a video as well how to how to set it up and, and use it. And you have the clutches. And this is, this is the freedom find, as they say. So if you are on a deep sky object and the telescope is locked, if you unscrew this the, the bottom and move it, it shouldn't lose alignment and you put it back where it was. It shouldn't lose alignment. So the it's, it's system will still know where you are where you are aligned. That's why it's, it's freedom find. And the clutches are not engaged all, all the time. You, you engage them with this. Because there are, like for example, the Celestrum mounts, uh, the clutches are engaged all the time and you can't move them with uh, manually. And this is the other thing that I love about the telescope that you can use it manually. Like I had the Celestron Next Star, you couldn't use it manually, only automatically. And that's kind of a pain, to be honest, because why I can't use the telescope manually? Like, automatically, every time you have to bring out the extensions and cords and all, all bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's better to have like this. And its price is good, to be honest, like 400 something dollars, I believe. I bought it like for 450 euros, something like that, one and a half years ago. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good for beginners. Don't expect a lot from it because this tube is kind of big for this mount. Uh, with the refractor, it works awesome this mount. Like you can remove this, like I said, and put the refractor, it works, it works much better. Because I believe this tube is, is a bit too heavy for the mount. But it is what it is. You can't expect. Uh, it was never made for imaging this mount, even though I have used it, and a lot, a lot of more people that used it. This mount was never made for imaging. And uh, as I said, this is the your biggest, your biggest uh, for the first mod you have to do, and you have to buy a cable to connect to that as well. It doesn't come with it. So you have to buy it separate. I had it for, from my few months, so I didn't buy anything. And it connects with batteries as well. There's the connector inside. It takes eight batteries. And that's it, basically. You know, it's, it's a cheap, cheap telescope. With, but compared to others, this is very cheap and very and, and works. You, can, you don't find six inches with this price. Don't, uh, you have no chance of finding six inches with this price. And the focuser. Just uh, it still flexes a bit, like it's plastic, but as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of flex. It's it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, maybe this helped you to decide what to do. I highly recommend this telescope when you're starting as a beginner. Uh, if you obviously want a, like a long-term investment, I'm not going to recommend this one. This an equatorial mount is the way to go. Because this, the biggest disadvantage of Alta's mounts is field rotation. Field rotation, with like, like when the sky, the, the sky object will start doing this, will start turning as the the sky turns. So an equatorial mount doesn't have that issue, but this Alta's mounts, yes, have field rotation issues. But maybe this helps you in your, uh, in your journey before buying a telescope. Clear skies.